Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video we have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18836. This isn't a fast ring build, this is a skip ahead build. And interestingly, this is not a 19H1 build that Microsoft are currently rolling out the uh, currently developing that 19H1 to be re re released in April. It's not 19H2, which is coming out towards the end of this year, probably October time, but it's a 20H1 build. Yeah, that's right. 2020 build um, coming to you. And um, the reason why that is, Microsoft say, is because um, some of the things they're working on in 20H1 requires a longer lead time. So they're releasing these... Um, Th this bit this build now to start that testing 19h2 which should be the next uh, windows 10 development is going to be released onto fast ring after 19h1 has been completed in the spring so if you're on fast ring you'll start getting 19 you'll be currently getting 19h1 builds you'll soon get 19h2 builds after the probably after april and if you're on skip ahead, then you're going to be getting these 20 H1 builds. What these things are that require more development, we don't know. And uh, this build doesn't show any signs of that. This build um, is basically just a slight evolution of last week's fast ring build, a 19 H1 build. It's just that they've split the development branches. So going forward, this build, this 20 H1 set of builds are going to have a lot more features uh, or new features that you won't see till next year in production so what has changed in this build well i've had a quick play with it and i can't really see any changes at all one thing i did want to show you i didn't i missed this on the previous build is when you click on start now you know you get this very much prompted or highlighted search field there with the with the blue board around it on the previous build it was even more accented with the, a, a, a blue board around this box but anyway, that's from the last build. This build, really, there isn't anything to change or to see. I can show you Winver if you're expecting to see sort of 2003 or something like that, but it isn't. It's just um, still a 1903 build. What fixes in it are um, probably just fixes that are going to be carried over to this week's so or the next 19H1 build. So they fix the issue with location and action center that uh, you might require a few clicks to turn it off. They fixed issues with being able, um, unable to rearrange pin fold in the start menu. They fixed issues with apps might not show up in the search results after you just installed them. There's some Cortana changes in tablet mode. They updated the name of the Windows Lite theme to be Windows Lite. Um, I wonder if that's something to do with Windows Lite being a future Windows Microsoft product. We'll see. Um, they fixed an issue with some uh, initial setup, uh, some ease of access. And good news, um, I was going to say good news, but the release notes have been updated since I uh, first read them. The Creative X5 sound card problem has been fixed. Well, no, it hasn't. They've updated and said, no, it's not fixed. Um, um, this uh, that bug has been around for, for some time. There's uh, only a few known issues with it, actually, because... I, cause this is carried over from the 19H1 build. So um, some games that use anti-cheat software will crash Windows. Um, performing a reset PC um, will need an extra reboot for re reverse storage to work, reserve storage. Some real tech SD card readers might not work and uh, some sandbox issues as well. So, and uh, MKV files as well. Um, File Explorer may hang when trying to rename or delete or move MKV files. This was um, a bug introduced in the previous build, um, but it's in there now. So unfortunately, that's all I can really show you on here. The uh, So while we're looking at a build path that's uh, due next year, this is still uh, really just an update to the current 19H1 builds. They'll diverge over time, I would guess, as we start to see some new features introduced that won't be introduced to the other builds until next year. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, I've got a complete video coming up soon of all the changes in 19H1, and I've already done a video of the changes for Windows Mixed Reality in 19H1, which you can all see on our YouTube channel. I can follow me on Twitter at iStixon and on the digitallifestyle.com.